my name is Donna Bellamy and I'm the author of Raising Happy Hearts and I'm the mother of six and today I just wanted to talk to you about guarding the hearts of your children and how important it is because it says in the word in 1 Samuel 16 7 it says man looks at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart and so the heart is a very important thing it's and even in um, Proverbs 4.23, it says, Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. And so the heart is a very important thing to pay attention to, to be diligent about, because everything that we do and everything that we say, it flows out of the heart. So we need to be careful what we put in there so that what flows out are things of beauty and not things of the enemy, right? And so for our children, you know, we need to make sure that we watch over their hearts, that we watch over what they're watching, that we watch over what they're doing, uh, even the people that they're hanging around, because everything that goes in there is eventually what's gonna flow out. It goes in there as a seed form, and then it will create a harvest. And so if we don't want a bad harvest in our children's life, then we as parents need to watch what seeds are sown in there in the first place. And as I was meditating about this subject, about what I was gonna share, the Lord highlighted this verse to me and it's 1 Peter 5, 8. And it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. So we want to make sure that we are vigilant over our children and over their hearts so that you know the devil can seek all he wants, but there's no way that he's going to be able to devour our children because we're watching over their hearts. And so, you know, with our children, there was one time that we were watching, this is about seven, eight years ago, we were watching TV with them and we were watching a wholesome show together just on cable TV. And then the advertisements that came on in between the show were stuff that there's no way that I would want my children to see. It was adult content. And so it, it, I, it was, I was mad. I was really mad about it. I'm like, how dare they do that? And so I realized, you know, I just need to take control over this situation. And we just got rid of cable altogether. We haven't had it since. And so we ended up getting Netflix and the children know you know what shows they're allowed to watch on netflix and they just watch that if they want to try a new show they ask us first you know and we're diligent and we're vigilant over what they see because we don't want the enemy influencing them for negative because because everything will flow right back out of their hearts and we want this house to be a house of peace a house of joy a house of love where they love each other where they respect the parents you know where they where they um love the lord and that voice of the world is really loud and it tries to steal the hearts of your children away from the Lord. And so it's so important as parents that we do what we need to do to be able to guard the hearts of our children. And so um, the Holy Spirit is just highlighting to me that, you know, you may feel a little overwhelmed, you know, what can I do? But you have the Holy Spirit to, to lead you, to guide you, to help you, to be a parent. And so just as he highlights certain things, just go ahead and make those changes, make those adjustments. Just start taking little baby steps, you know, towards that, that you can start sowing, you know, beautiful things into the hearts of your children so that you'll just get a beautiful harvest. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, I just wanted to share with you that I have a friend and she has two little children and if they watch TV together and if something shows up on the TV, she she shouts out, guard your hearts! And the little ones, they, they close their eyes until, you know, it's time for them to open them again. And so, you know, that's another option for you, but also, you know, they can still hear what's going on as well. So you gotta just pay attention to that. And so, just in closing, you know, God made you the parent. You know, he gave you authority over your children. You're not powerless against this. You know, there, um, God will help you. He'll give you the grace to be able to do the things that you need to do to guard the hearts of your children, to watch who they're, who they're um, you know, talking to, to watch, you know, even babysitters that come into the house. You know, don't just let any Tom, Dick or Harry, you know, babysit your children because uh, um, most of the time when children are, you know, molested, it's by a, fr a close friend or a family member. And so it's so important that you be led by the peace 
and just see, you know, do I have peace about this person watching my children? Because it's so important that, you know, we guide our children's hearts in that way as well. We don't, you know, open the doors for them to be violated. You know, extremely important. But the Holy Spirit will, um, will lead you, guide you. You know, He doesn't want you to be afraid. He just wants you to be led by peace. Okay, so if you have a check in your spirit, just listen to that, okay? All right, well, I love you guys, and I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please like and share it so it can be a blessing to someone else. And follow me on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. All right, love you guys. Bye.